What's going on guys, Junior here from Custom Offsets and today we have a special guest. We got Bug BMX in house. What up? He's built a couple of two tree SEMA trucks. So we figured today in this head to head video, we put me up against Bug going through some trucks, kind of picking out our favorites and fighting over who's right. And of course, as always, if you're looking for what fits your vehicle, we got a whole gallery of like 100,000 custom aftermarket trucks for wheels, tires, and fitment specs, and suspension specs, I suppose, too. Customonsets.com slash gallery. And that's where all these trucks come from that we rate. So if you're looking to get rated, potentially, add your truck there. Let's, Ready to get into it? Let's do we got it. got like 10 trucks, so let's break her down. Let's go. We got a 1968 Ooh. Ford F-250. Okay. On some XD diesel 22 by 14s, negative 76. Uh, crosswind MTs in a 3312 and a half and a Ford Racing Performance Parts suspension lift of three and a half inches. What does it even mean? I wonder if it's like a Ford Performance? I don't know. I like it though. Suspension? That thing's clean. Like, like a stanced out farm truck. Yeah. Okay. And then it's going up against Ooh. another Ooh. stanced out farm truck. We got a 97 Ford F-250 and some fuel forged FF-16s and a 2614 negative 101. For your off-road country hunter MTs, 35, 15 and a half, so the PMF six inch lift. Let's look through the details quick before we make any. Okay. We got a PMF four and a half reverse shackle, crossover steering and track bar, one inch lift springs, four inch rear block. No trubbing, minor metal trimming, two inch rear spacers. The 68, uh, suspension of a 97, or a 77, sorry, Ford High Boy, 460 engine, custom interior, sits on 250 frame and axles, three quarter ton. Okay, so he's got the chassis on a whole other frame. Like the chrome wheels on it. Make sure to fill the photos, I suppose. He's got a lot of garage photos. If you have a truck like this sick and like clean it up a little bit, spray it down, go yeah. to a cool location, get some sick photos. Spend a little little time on taking your pictures. Yeah, like he's got the jack under it still. He's still... Still putting the wheels and tires on. Yeah. Maybe he's got more on his Instagram or something. I don't know. All right, you ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Right. right. Yeah. There I think go. the fact that the photos are just like, they took a little bit more time and care. Like yeah, it's still in the driveway, it. but he washed it. It was still wet. Wet is clean, right? And he's that was flexing a little bit right there. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just a good setup. The fact that it's got a lot done too. So the chassis is off of a different like vehicle than yeah. the frame is. And it's got a lot that went into giving it the love and attention that it like rightfully deserves. Exactly, so. yeah, for sure. Cool, let's jump to the next one. Next up, we got a 2016 Ram 1500, Vision Spider 2214s, negative 76 offset, Venom Power Terror Hunter XTs in a 35, 13 and a half, and a Rough Country six inch kit. And then we got a 09 Ram uh, 1500 on some Black Rhino, Renos, an 18 by nine and a half, zero offset, kind of cleaver RTs, 35, 12 and a half, and a supre Supreme suspension lift of five inches. Let's dig through these photos quick first. Yeah, so the 09. Got a little bit of stance. Yep. He's got, oh, he's got the headache rack up top. Ooh. Supreme suspension, one and a half inch body lift, rebel grill, KSP upper control arms, Lear canopy with a Thule roof basket. I like that. Simple, good yep. camping rig right yeah. there. Yeah, yep. Camping all around, like can do anything with, not be worried about it. Practical, you mean? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yes, that. What's that? <laughs> And this guy's kind of on rubber band. Oh no, 22s and 35s, that's not that's, that bad. That's good, good ratio for Will and Tire. That one angle I think just kind of looked a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That that's, first photo is really that's, good that's too. That's a good picture, way good picture. And they're both 1500s. Yep, Gasser versus Gasser right yep. here. Trim, pinch weld, front and rear, remove valence, rough country six inch. I'm ready to decide if you are. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, left. left. I had to. It's a stance. <laughs> it's, yep. I like the other one. It's practical. It'd be a great camping rig. Yeah, I like the fact that with the top around it and everything, he uh, did like the basket and everything. everything. Like it's got a whole like theme to it and he yeah. actually probably uses it's like it for It's like a good off-road truck. Yeah, I definitely like it and it's very functional. Just that first photo though, it just yeah. does me. The mesh grill, I don't know. I don't, I don't know it. function though. So yeah, that's, right? <laughs> that's what I know. I love it. That's good looking. I sure. dig it. Alrighty, next up, we have a 2019 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Fuel Contra 22 by 10s, negative 18 offset, ridge grapplers in a 35, 12 and a half, and a three and a half inch ready lift suspension kit. Versus a 2010 Ooh. Dodge Ram 2500 on some American Force Evo SS's in a 2214, negative 76. Toyo tire, uh, Toyo MTs in a 40 by 15 and a half, and then a seven and a half inch zone lift and a three inch body lift. That's pretty spicy. Yeah, that I like the red sick. accents a lot. Yeah. You don't, I feel like you don't only really see red accents on like a pewter yeah. colored truck. 
Yeah, it makes it pop really well. Yeah. Got some good pictures in there. Yeah, he's got a bunch of different angles, front, sides, all that fun stuff. He's got some rock lights, it looks like, too. Why doesn't he have them on red? That's Maybe they're I'm only saying. blue rock lights, I don't know. Could be. Probably not, though, but. Oh, that photo's kind of cool. He's got yeah. like an edit with the top Mesh. bottom. Uh, let's look at the Super Duty. He's only got three photos, but they're decent photos. Okay. Is it blue or blue? I thought it was black blue. at first. I think but it looks it's that like really it's pretty Ford blue. Yep. What do they got That's for clean. details? As usual, I bought this truck. Instead, I'm leaving this one alone. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> I love it. I mean, we've all done that before. Uh, the Ram. Let's see what he has for details. Oh my God. Truck has an eight inch super lift kit and three inch body lift sitting in 2214 matte black force Evo. SS8s, uh, wrapped with 40, 15 and a half Toyo tires and Venom spike lugs for my performance upgrades. I have Velocity Performance products, throttle response unit, headlights upgraded to Alpha X Lux Series, Jet Black, and also Alpha X Pro Series taillights. Weston Bowl with light bar, uh, upgraded fog lights to four FCK light bars, uh, RGB V2 pods, and rear bumper upgraded to two flush mount uh, FCK light bar, RGB pods. Holy sh we're only halfway. Uh, <laughs> Eight-piece Patriot lighting rock lights, Go Recon smoke cab lights, Apex lighting dual row RGB wheel lights, added Tiger Auto Stars armor side steps and a Tiger Auto Trifold tonneau cover. To protect my bed, I have a black armor bed mat. Currently, I have a custom cutting edge off-road LED grill on order and will be changing my bumpers to either Road Armor Identity Series or Misguided Industries bumpers. Damn, so this guy's got like a whole plan. That's... Even though he's already got it in the gallery, he's like, yeah. I'm doing more. He's like, wait, wait, there's more. That's sick. Okay, that was a lot. Do you have your choice nailed down? I I do, yep. So, right is the Ram, left is the Super Duty. Okay. Three, two, one, left. left. Come on! I totally thought you were gonna go with the one on the right. Like, they just had so much done to it. I don't know, man. Uh, I just got my first Ford. I love it so far, and... You I'm, had a, you had a Cummins. I, I think I'm... Oh, I might no. be becoming a Ford oh, guy. No. I, we'll see. We'll see I just want a reliable tow rig, and this thing with that setup on it, one, it looks good, and two, it's able to tow sh So, yeah. that's why I went that route. That's a perfect perfect truck. Yeah, but I mean, they're both solid trucks. They both yeah. look awesome. They're both completely different. One's a little bit more mild with some basic setup yeah. on it. One's got a lot more done, but I like them both. All right, so on the left here, we have a 2017 Ford F-150 on Axe Off-Road Artemis's and a 2614 negative 76 offset. Road one, Atheon MTs and the 37, 13 and a half and a Max Trax seven inch lift kit. That thing's clean. Yeah. Versus, Ooh. oh my. Okay. Versus a 2016 Ford F350 Super Duty. It says E350. I think that's a lie because it's not a van. Uh, on RBP electric. Forged. It's an electric <laughs> I don't. That's not how that works. <laughs> RBP Forged Mojave is in a 2414 negative 76. RBP Repulsor MTs in a 40 by 15 and a half. This was clearly in the RBP booth at SEMA. And then a PMF suspension lift kit of eight and a half inches. Uh, let's look through this uh, love, E350 first. Love that teal color. The teal, I like the wrap too, how it's got the teal incorporated, yeah. but it's just on the edges. It's yeah. not like overly done. Not too much. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's cool. I wonder what year this was at SEMA. Um, bodyguard bumpers, RK Sport Hood, full deletes in tune, interior fully done, wrap fully done. I would love to see the interior on this thing because I bet you it looks it's just all, as sick yeah, as the exterior. I bet it's got some teal in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm picturing like black, probably like a diamond stitch, perforated leather, and yep. then like some teal accents yep. in the seat somehow. Uh, on the left, we got our 2017 Ford F-150. Jeez. I just, I don't know. Does he have spacers? He's got to. He says no spacers. None? Rubs, minor metal trimming. Maybe they just, wheels just sit wider on this thing. Or he's got spacers and didn't, didn't tell us. Sneaky. Yeah. That thing looks good. That's he. Yeah, he put all the specs in here, but he hid the spacers because people are going to be like, oh, I want that stance. Yeah. They'll go get the 14 rides and be like, they don't stick out that much. Yeah. It's like, gotcha, bitch. Little secret uh, ingredient there. All right, you ready to rate these things? This is going to be a tough one. So we got like go. clean, simple. 17 Fords, so it's a little bit uh, newer versus the older body style Super Duty, but more done, yeah. more on the wild side. Definitely. Oh, I'd drive both of them, but okay, ready? Three, <laughs> two, one, Left. right. Oh, okay, time. yeah, there right. I thought you were copying yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were copying me. Why'd you pick left? <laughs> uh, I don't know, the F 150 is super clean. It'd be a good daily. Uh, it's got a little subtle flex to it, you know, like roll up, hop out, chauffeur it, yeah. grab a nice dinner, walk yep. out, yes. rock lights are on, like it sets the mood. It's kind of like classy, cause yeah. it's like the painted to match helps too, right? So the, yep. the grill, the bumpers, the cleared out headlights, like it all just flows super nice and it's kind of just got that little like higher end yeah. feel to it. And I don't know if this is like a, a platinum or something like that. I, I guess don't know. he doesn't have a tailgate shot, so I can't really tell. I'm not that good at Fords. I couldn't tell you. But regardless, the thing's nice. And it's also like a 17, so like the interior is going to be nicer, newer, all yep. of that fun stuff, you know? That's a good looking truck. Yeah. I went on the right. I don't know. Just something about the way it was all put together and everything like that. It, it really just stands out, especially like driving down the road and everything. Exactly. The, the milling in the wheels. 
the track bars having that teal, um, the same as a million in the wheels. The interior, I, I wish I could see photos of yeah. it, but I'm sure it's sick. Like every SEMA truck that's got interior done is, it's, it's always super nice. And you buy it, rolled up to a show, ready to go. Yep, and it's got everything done. Like he's got headlights, he's got the hood, he's got the bumpers. There's not a single thing on this that's been untouched and just looks good. One more to go head to head. Ooh. Alrighty, on the left we have Ooh. a 15 GMC Sierra 1500 on some KG1 forged vials in a 2414, negative 76 with some Fury Country Hunter MTs in a 35, 15 and a half, BDS suspension lift of eight inches. That's clean too. Versus 2016, so a year newer, but same body style. GMC Sierra 1500 on some Extreme Force 2414s, Fury 35, 15 and a half, some Magoy 10 inch lift kit. Look at the one on the right first, because I got it pulled uh, up. Those are wide, those 15 yeah. and a halfs are beefy. That does look good. Aggressive. This guy takes it everywhere. He's got it like Christmas lights it, here. He's got it on the beach here. Yeah. He's got it in like fall it's here. Daily. He must live in Wisconsin. Okay, let's see that other one again. Okay. Get some more pictures. So the one on the left. I like those those wheels a lot. Except around backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I notice that all the time and it makes so, me so mad. What size lift on this one? This one's got a eight inch BDS versus a ten inch Ooh. McGoy's. I like that white. I think that's that pearl white they do. Yep, I think. Yeah, yeah. it looks like it's got some yeah. pearl in it. I thought it was silver based on this first yeah. photo, honestly. And then you start looking through it and you're like, wait a minute. And then this one, what color is this one? Is this like that brown, like that charcoal brown? brown? I don't know, it looks blue there. Can't tell there, can't tell there. Like right here. I, yeah, I kind of like that brown charcoal. That's a pretty color too in the sun. Yeah. Both clean. Yep. Both got. Um, let's see what else they got. So the one on the right, the 16, yes, has a one inch leveling kit with Cognito upper control arms and a one and a half inch Magoy's Adelief. So basically he took, is that how he got to 10 maybe? Or? I think so. Unless, yeah, I bet you it was a seven to nine. And, and then, then he added, added that. that, yeah. Cause I was like, I don't think Magoy's makes a 10. So I was, okay, that makes more sense. Uh, rock lights, wheel lights, Starlight kit, okay. Some Rolls Royce vibes in this yes, thing. Spaceship. Nine and a half total inches, one and a half inch body lift, so tires wouldn't rub. That's nice. Nothing's worse than rubbing tires. Yep. It's such a cringy feeling. And like, I don't normally like like the whole body lift thing, but he went with a small enough one, literally just to clear his I think it's all right. Tires? Yeah. And you don't notice, like back in the day in high school, everyone would just body lift their trucks and so you'd see a rotted out K1500 yep. with this much frame hanging yep. down below it. The frame's it just, all yeah. rusted and. But this this looks good. I Yeah. And it's not a, a five inch body lift that yeah. it's like running, like driving weird and you're, yeah. No, it's very tastefully done. Yeah. Okay. I'm all right. Three, two, one, left. right. Wow. Okay. It took all that. episode, but here we are. Uh, why'd you pick one on the left? The Pearl Y, uh, the polished forged wheels sets it off nice. It's clean, classy, and just, I don't know, everything pops off real well. I love this body style. It's together it too. Like I just, it's a good, they got great interiors on those yes. as well. Yes, yep. Um, I chose the one on the right. I don't know how much I like the, the roof rack bars on the top. That's not really my yeah. thing, but just overall, I like the setup of it, the way it looks. I like these wheels too, the, like the design of it and everything like that, with that like split yeah. spoke. Got them shining. Yeah, like they're not forged like the uh, KG1s were, but at the same time, in my opinion, it looks just as good. Yeah. Um, neither of them had painted to match bumpers or anything, so this one was a close one. Like, yeah. I would drive either of them and have zero complaints. Same. Sweet. That's what we got for you guys, another episode of Head to Head. Uh, if you want your truck added to the gallery for a chance to be featured, you can add it at customoutfits.com slash ad. And as always, of course, you can get wheels, tires, suspension, performance, accessories, lighting, bug BMX at customoutfits.com. Peace. <laughs> you can buy it. <laughs>